With the 10-year anniversary of 9-11 next weekend, there are new health concerns about the first responders at Ground Zero, those who rushed in to help. 343 New York City firefighters died on that day. And now some of those who survived are facing a new threat, and they say they're doing it with little help. How are you, Bob? How are you? How are you doing, all right? When Jeff Strohlein visits old friends at his Queens firehouse these days, he's not in fireman's gear. He's in a protective mask and gloves. His immune system, now as weak as a newborn baby. As you can see, when I come out of the house, I put on, uh, come out of my safe zone. Ten years after 9-11, Strohlein remains in the fight of his life. A firefighter since 1993, he was one of 60,000 first responders who worked at Ground Zero after the towers fell spending days sifting through debris, rubble, and dust. Then, in March of this year, after a series of inexplicable headaches, doctors told Strohlein he had lymphoma, a tumor on his brain the size of a baseball. Is there any doubt in your mind that what you were exposed to after 9-11 is linked to what you're dealing with now? No, it's not even, I, I don't even think it's a question. I was diagnosed with CNS lymphoma, which large mass brain lymphoma, which is basically, uh, not a normal cancer. For the last five months, nothing for Strohlein has been normal. Aggressive chemotherapy so weakened his system, he required a bone marrow transplant. His body so fragile, he can't even shake hands. Just safe, no disrespect. It's right, just but, safe for, uh, not, not, not take it. <laughs> All the while, the medical bills mount, putting even more pressure on Strohlein's wife, Margaret. From early March to today, can you can you at all put into words what it's been like? Crazy. <laughs> One word, crazy. And crazier and crazier. It's just nonstop crazy. But um, You laugh about it. I'm sure I you weren't I always laugh laughing. I now. I mean, you know, laugh about the bills, laugh about it all. But in the beginning, I remember just crying for 24 hours straight. I was delirious. Some of the oh, bills so have been covered here. by Margaret's oh, insurance. A's have it. But none have been covered by the controversial Zadroga bill. The bill, passed by Congress last year, set aside $4.3 billion to treat and compensate first responders who were exposed to fumes and dust. Everything from asthma to chronic respiratory illness was covered, but not cancer. However, a new study might change that. Dr. David Prezant, chief medical officer with the New York Fire Department, spent seven years examining more than 10,000 firefighters, those who were at the World Trade Center site after 9-11 and those who weren't. And we found an increase in all cancers combined, a 19% increase in cancers compared to the non-exposed World Trade Center group. This represents about up to 38 extra cancers in the seven years that we studied. Dr. Philip Landrigan has also examined first responders, and he's testified on their behalf. He believes there is a definitive cancer link. They inhaled all sorts of toxic material while they were down there, and as a consequence of their heroism, a number of them are sick today, and probably more will get sick in the years ahead. You were there on 9-11? I was. King, lost. I was off duty. I got down there for the, uh, when the second tower came down. Back at the Queens Firehouse, Strohlein's case and the Zadroga bill has been the topic of intense discussion. Is it something you think about that might happen to you? I guess everybody does. You know, if you've been on the job long enough from 9-11, everybody seems, every day you hear another few guys uh, coming down with some kind of cancer. All right, man, good seeing you. I'll talk to you, right? Stop Jeff Strohlein is one of those who served the city. His firefighting days are now over. His fight back from cancer just beginning. I think the point of the guys that I spoke to was, listen, you, you may not ever know 100% if our work there is linked to cancer, but you're also not going to know 100% if it wasn't linked. So given what we did, why not give us the benefit of the doubt? Yeah, and I mean, it does sound that with the new studies that they may be doing that. They're making more progress. Clearly more studies will be done as, the, as, as, as we continue here, and we may get, uh, may get more information, uh, a little more definition on that.